Hi, Robin here, just recording uh, a YouTube video on my efforts to print a mobile phone stand, which I uh, copied from the um, my mini factory site on the internet. Um, the chap's called Lot Spring, who's come up with a design, ingenious, ingenious over-the-top design for a mobile phone. I, I hope you like it. Well, I'm uh, I'm printing my latest uh, 3D. I won't say it's not my design. It's not my design, but uh, I uh, I found a uh, mobile phone stand which I really liked. So I, I copied it off the internet, and now I'm printing it. It's quite an exotic design. There's a uh, there's a display of it there on the screen, and uh, I'm printing it on my 3D printer. So. Um, it's been going for an hour, so it's a very long print. It's going to take 24 hours to print this. Um, but uh, that's uh, what my uh, my printer's made of it so far. So, uh, yeah, the, the first few layers went down, it, it was fine. So I'm, I'm quite, uh, quite happy. So we'll um, we'll leave that running and uh, we'll come back to it a little bit later and uh, see how it uh, how it's going. Well, <clears throat> I'm still printing my uh, completely over-the-top mobile phone holder. Um, it's been printing for about six hours. It's a 25-hour print, I think. But I thought I'd just do a little update to show you where it's got. It is um, there's something um, a bit compulsive about watching this thing. It's just an amazing machine. It's got furniture gear up near where it's printing at the moment. But the whole um, <coughs> mobile phone stand is printed flat. It's printed in one piece, and then you you fold it, um, you fold it to put it together into a working item. No no metal pins, no glue. It's just printed in place. You lift it off the bed. You make the it hinges in uh, places. There's some hinges here, I don't know if you can see the hinges there. And uh, it hinges up. And uh, this this circle here is a screw, there's going to be a threaded stud at the top of that. And uh, you screw it, and that's it. It's a done deal. Amazing. Okay, well that's it for the minute. Well, it's uh, it's morning, and uh, we're still printing um, my mobile phone charger stand. Uh, it's been printing for oh, God knows, uh, what we're talking 12, 16 hours probably, and uh, this is how far we've got. Uh, it's looking pretty good. It's got another eight hours of printing to go. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Very pleased the print so so far has been successful on a 25 hour print. That's quite important. But uh, it's uh, you can see the the planetary gear there quite clearly. Quite a thing. That's, this is the bit where the phone actually goes. But um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. But uh, doing well. Now, can you believe this is my print? This is the phone holder that I've been printing. This has been on the print bed for 25 hours. And uh, it's almost done. I think we're up to 99%. And 
it, it's printed successfully um, from the last layer or so. Um, be very interesting to see if the uh, <coughs> all the, the the planetary gear set in there has been printed in situ. So those cogs are supposed to turn straight off the print bed. Whether they will or not is another question. It's also uh, hinged down here. Uh, so it hinges in two places. It hinges here and here, and then you've got the cogs all around there. So whether it's going to uh, work or not is uh, another question but um, I think they're literally putting on the, the last layer so uh, yeah I've used a, <laughs> a considerable amount of filament off my spool but I've been keeping an eye on it during the day. Um, I think generally it's printed printed very well. Let's see if this is the last layer or not. Yep. That was it. So the bed goes down now. And the print's finished. How about that? Well. There we go. Printing time, it took uh, 24 hours and 54 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Well, we'll take it, I guess the next thing is we'll take it off the bed and we'll see if it works. So, uh, I've completed my um, model. This is uh, this is the uh, stand for my mobile phone and uh, now I guess we have to see if uh, this is going to work. So the first thing you've got to do is get it off the bed. So we do that by bending the, uh, the plate. Oh, so we already see the hinges going. So let's bend it here a bit. Good. Good. No. A bit more there maybe. It's a big, it's a big, a big print. Whoa! There we go. So uh, you can still see the uh, the skirt. We won't worry about that for the minute. We'll get rid of this. Right, so the first thing I can see is that hinge works. This one doesn't. Oh, yes it does. Look at that. Both hinges work. So, if we uh, print that, hold that correctly. So, what's supposed to happen is that's supposed to hinge up there. This is hinge up here. Now, there's a this. Oh, look at that! The planetaries work. How about that? The planetaries work straight off the off the map. That is exceptional. Okay, so on here, you see there's those bumps, and they fit into those grooves. So you join the two together like that and then in theory the thing can't turn anymore so you set it where you want and then it won't turn anymore and then to lock it in place you turn this one up like that and then it screws into place like that so then you have your phone holder 
Look at that. Blimey. That, that is an amazing um, item. That is print in place. And uh, you saw me took it straight off the bed and it works. And on this side, look, you can see the planetary gear. Um, you can see the planetary gear, which now is locked because I've screwed it in on the other side with the thing there. But uh, yeah, now that took, uh, that took 25 hours to print in PLA. Um, but a successful print straight straight off the uh, off the mat. Very very happy with that. Very happy with that. Yeah. But uh, so okay. So that's uh, another another little video from me. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, until I print something even more interesting, and I have got a few things in mind, um, but I won't give the game away. But yeah, we've got even more things. Um, this this one is a design um, from somebody else. Um, the next thing I want to print uh, is equally as ambitious, although it hasn't uh, got the gears in it. Um, equally ambitious, but will be a design of my own creating. But until then, thank you very much. Goodbye.